Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our run of, or blind run actually, of Legendary Difficulty. It is time for pretty much uh, yet another Haven uh, defense mission. It seems that the Havens regularly need to be defended. We've got a medium reward mission with a medium uh, strength def uh, attacking force. This could be a good chance for us to capture uh, some aliens, which brings us exactly to the point. We got one, uh, we got, nope, nothing here. By the way, what's the difference between both of them? Nothing at all. It's just this one here looks cooler. Good, so in terms of equipment, I think I came to the conclusion that the best way of dealing with poor aim is to actually give them a laser rifle. I'm not sure what I should think about these redeemers. They. I, I really don't know. I mean, smaller weapons, PDWs in particular, would be very welcome that he can uh, can use. So, yeah, we're we're waiting for that to happen. In the meantime, I think this should be the loadout. The spider cannon also wasn't too bad. So I definitely give props to that because they don't need to hit with it okay we don't have any um, we don't have any option here to um, to paralyze them so the neuralizer is on Jarenks We're good here. We got another neuralizer with Dilly G. That's fine. I think that's a no-brainer, uh, giving her a more accurate sniper rifle. It's actually quite helpful. And another neuralizer. So we, yeah, we basically have two neuralizer, uh, two. Uh, melee neuralizers and two neuralizing pistols. That must be now. So we have a berserker here. Maybe a few other things. Lots. And still frenzy. And if possible, let's get to that berserker. Does anyone have dash? Yes, we do. Drinks dashes up. We're now seeing three enemies. Well, that almost calls for a heavier hand. Something like an explosion, uh, explosive. And we are seeing multiple enemies over there. Good, we'll come to the Berserker in a second. For now. I am wondering if we were to uh, grenade over. Hmm. hmm. We 
could let Ian move up and then use Boom Blast to hit all three of them. Can dash to here. That's the cheaper alternative, just dashing in. And using the normal grenade. Billy moves up. We're hitting that guy and we're overwatching. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Let's spread in. And I'm a bit concerned with our flank here. Hence, what we're going to do is Euler is actually going to play frontline. And we'll support with more willpower next turn. Well, equally moves up and very much kills this guy so our berserker will be the front line here I actively will use them as bait Ranks moves up, but doesn't go too close. Okay, so. Inappropriate Murphy has a semi-accurate gun, so we're fine. Which brings us really to JP Pauly. Moves up to here. And finally, we can throw the turret, which is a great advantage. Shattered Realm. I tell you what, uh, given that there, no one has come from here yet, Might as well just move up for now. And we're getting closer. Okay, cool. Look. What's a good turn? It is time to almost act. kill the triplet of them. That guy will respawn. You can already foresee it. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so this flank here, oh, there are definitely a few tritons. Let's look at the obvious problem, shall we? We can't just go in. Do we have 
anything melee related? No, we don't. Can't just go in and kill her head. I don't think that uh, this is going to work. Unless we have more... Unless we do have more action points. So we move all the way to here and then take shots. Oh, I know how we solve it. I know how we are going to solve that. Luckily, we have Speedy Gonzalez here. Fastest operator. One for the money. Two for the show. Three to get ready and then go, go, go. So go now and don't step on my blue Wayne shoes, my friends. Good. We'll, I think, shout through the wall. There is still this problem that needs a resolution. I want to capture a couple of tritons, which is why I'm deliberately moving uh, the operatives with capture guns, with neuro guns over here. Those two can help. On the other side, this here should not be a big problem. No one is close, so we should be okay. Um, yeah, the opposition is really not that strong this time. And our prime prime team now is noticeably has has become noticeably stronger. No, he resisted. Don't like it. He shall not resist the war cry. Good. Inappropriate Murphy moves up. We're continuing our rush towards that side. Oh yeah, that other berserk is not taking any uh, shit from them. This pain. And in his defense, he was standing for a very, very, very long time. It's quite impressive how long he was stay, uh, standing there. So you, you think that it's okay to hit our turret, yeah? Well, I can show you what uh, we think about people who are hitting our turret. There you go. Hope you learned your lesson. Re 
resisted it again. Something is not working well with the stomp. Maybe I'm missing. Maybe I'm missing something. We're rushing forward. Move to here. Yeah, just shoot him. Okay, thank you. Good. Moving up further. War cry. Just really affects this guy. Huh? It's depressing. Ian moves over. We're still trying to capture them. for all three of them. That's a good position. Tranks moves over. We need to paralyze the guy. No valid target. Come on. There we go. Onslaught is a good ability. Good. He's now at 21. Just a matter of time until he completely runs out of juice. turret where is the repair there we go yes please repair the turret and JP is just holding the back line here we will need additional haste next turn Frenzy, as it is called. And yeah, Grell moves up as well. We are rushing through that map. Medkit here. Um, tell you what, whilst we are getting ready, one, two, and Overwatch should be good enough. Dilly moves up. One. A miss. Three. 
three. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Jarenks unfortunately can't shift over more actions. Inappropriate Murphy. Still it's frenzy in everyone. JP moves up, okay, cool. We missed the cannon. Well, wonderful. Anyways. That'll be uh, the Berserker is our bait. <laughs> walk right here. Walk right there. Walk right everywhere. Here, I oh, we're already at maximum. Okay, hmm. Give me that. And we're moving over here to already start next turn with uh, getting this guy paralyzed end of turn somehow they couldn't act one two not a hit out of ammo reload okay cool Dilly moves up. One, two. Get these guys down. JP Pauly moves up. We're healing uh, the head. that over please and that might have been it I think we captured three which is good inappropriate Murphy is getting so little XP like that's 15 ridiculous I think we need to find a better source for him to get XP. Maybe deploy him and JP Pauly on a mission together with someone else. We failed to identify the origins. Okay. 
and we're already on our way to the next mission. But before we do that, we have plenty of resources. And I just want to double check something. So, no new recruits. But with our successful fireworm harvesting, and the three tritons that we have now found. Oh, nice, the first one was a hundred. We're already up to um, almost 500, which is good. Now, we wanted to. Make one of uh, the technicians a priest, but that will still take some time, so we're nowhere near that. Um, all of uh, the prime team will receive their fair share um, of that phoenix pool. It's only for them and for them only. I think Euler is fine at the moment. I would rather invest that in JP Pauli and Co. I like the induced panic. Before we go there, inappropriate Murphy, however, <clears throat> also could benefit from yeah, just remote control. Which means he could place down uh, some of uh, those drones, right? So... Let me just double check a few things here. Where are our technicians? So we'll give you that. Uh, do we have armor yet? No, we don't still in the manufacturing but the first one actually should have been created i wonder i'm pretty sure i put in three yeah but i haven't placed it on anyone so it's impossible it's absolutely impossible but it would be on anyone else so we don't have hmm. I will still let the turret with uh, with Kitsu they really need it uh, which kind of brings me back to what we need here which is another turret And another of these guns. PDWs, 10 hours, 9 hours. This is all taking a lot of time. Yeah, not optimal, but... Okay, good. Back to what I was originally trying to do. We do have our prime team. We want to make sure that they are well equipped and do have the right abilities. Inappropriate Murphy needs more experience. I want him on that level 7 because there are so many good abilities and it's really inappropriate of him to take that long. Just gain so little experience at the moment. We just don't have uh, the right equipment for him. Not yet, but we'll get there. The arms unfortunately can't be mounted. And yeah, he has remote control, great, but can't use that. I think we're going to... Skill that here first, because Murphy is not yet level six. And 
being immune to panic and psychic damage. That's a, uh, that sounds really good. Inappropriate Murphy doesn't have anything yet. Shattered Realm. I think we wanted rapid clearance, so we're just waiting that one more mission. Hmm. S for Jarenks. He's currently just funneling willpower into his teammate. But Onslaught is just so good, so what am I supposed to do? It's an unfair combination. Which means more willpower will make him a better a better funneler. Onslaught the other way around might be helpful. But also just having more willpower makes us makes us stronger as a team. Uh, do we need Onslaught on a Sniper? They do not have a lot of willpower, so I would rather say no. And instead what I would want to do is upgrade their willpower. More points also means that they are better at what they're supposed to do. She's fine. Grella's actually a really good character. My problem with her is she's not fast. Uh, she's not having enough willpower. The final willpower due to her sniper is straight. It's reduced by four. So I think we are ending up with 10 willpower. Not great. Not great. Okay, so that's some of uh, the... Uh, some of uh, the material. Now the other topic is we have a full queue here which is one day, two days, three days, uh, it's four days worth of working. I know that we're working on those production robots so that might increase our produ uh, production speed overall. I think it would make sense in one of the bases just to build another production facility here, fabrication plant. Not the end of the world. It will pay for itself because I can already foresee that we're a bit short on just production overall and whilst we're at it i tell you what we're just getting one more okay cool so that's it now my actual question is what do we do with the rest we could go and build another tier mat but we're waiting for four days at the moment. We could open another facility. Maybe here to get that. Maybe here to get that. Maybe in South America to actually activate that and get a better handle on the situation down here because there's a lot happening and being able to to deal with that just having kind of that recovery base would certainly go a long way what's the plan Saiken? I am thinking I'm not yet convinced that either of these is the ultimate play, but we need to expand. In terms of personnel, if I'm just looking at uh, at the team five, we still have people in born in the USA, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's almost a full team there. Yes, we can equip them as and when needed, but it's almost a full team there, just getting Decent experience, really. 
So the moment that new recruits are popping up or that we get more recruits, that would uh, most certainly help us. That's our last team that we need. So having that last aircraft wouldn't change anything right now because new recruits would anyway sit there for now, which means probably activating a base is the right call. Um, which brings us to South America as a base. Yes, we want to repair that. Yes, we want to repair that. And we want to repair the living quarters. Access lift is only... Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, oh, it's a deployment point. Well, we're just leaving it uh, there as is. So living quarters, then we want a map bay. And we could go into food production, but currently I'm actually okay with our food. What I would want to get the second one of would almost be the, what's it called? Living quarters, right? Good. Oh yeah, and and we need a satellite uplink. Because with a med medical bay and living quarters, maybe I'll build a second medical bay as well. Medical base, living quarters, that's 250 and 50. That's not cheap. But yeah, 500 and... Hmm. That's 500 and 150. It is not cheap. The living quarters are actually, relatively speaking, cheap because only uh, uses fabrics. But the idea would be to get soldiers back into combat, relatively speaking, soon. And typically the stamina is the problem that I need to fill up because I can heal um, even with, with, our, uh, with our own equipment if needed. So med one medical bay, fine, but the living quarters um, should be two and then we're getting another set of them. Okay, cool. So that's our go-to. We will need to do that special mission next, uh, which will be very interesting. Over here we're preparing for the hive. Uh, there we're preparing to go north in order to uh, do some scavenge, uh, scavenging sites. And here we're flying over to protect. So as always there is just so much that is happening. We're going to get money from this defense we are likely not getting any money from here. This is just attitude towards us. We might get some money from here. And oh, before I forgot, that's actually the last thing we got mutagens. So let's just quickly go through Tiamat 2. We have two mutagens here, two mutagens here, two here, two here, two here, two here, two here. Two here. And Kitsu is waiting uh, to become a priest, so that'll take some time. Which then brings us to team number three, so that's Medical 1 and 3. Uh, we got our priest over here. And I just wonder what's the right augmentation for them. Uh, that team 
already has a few priests, right? So we have that half, uh, that um, priest plus uh, plus assault. I think we wanted her. to become technician plus assault and then this would be technician plus priest okay if that's the case we can't m mutate the body and if that's the case i would like to mutate the legs as that is helpful also gives him better armor and a better uh, aim overall so that's actually quite helpful Then we do have Asian cow, which is the typical berserker. And I'm just wondering again, for for this team, I still want the uh, the standard quote unquote best in slot mutations, the one the way that I'm normally playing it. For team number four, what I will do is I'll test out new. Uh, new mu mutations, maybe tentacle torso and so on, the ones that aren't as clear cut. So he's a berserk, uh, meaning he's already immune to um, to mind control. Uh, the day's immunity might be helpful for him, but there is equally something to be said that we're uh, where we are just taking the regeneration torso and the stomper legs and call it a day. Hmm. Going back to to the group, we got Berserker Sniper, Berserker Heavy. Uh, that one here is going for Adrenaline Rush and we already we already have uh, the head and the legs, so we're using the Adrenaline Rush quite heavily. Then we got a lot of Berserker Snipers here and here. An Asian Cow really could be Berserker plus something else, I don't know yet. But maybe we're doing Berserker Infiltrator. So we're going with the no regret move. It also definitely needs some mutation. Unless we're going Berserker Technician, but I don't think we need another Technician. We need Frontline. This here would be great. The tentacles would actually be really good if they wouldn't cost two action points. So we need armor, lots of it, and we'll mutate the legs. And that's about it. It's, it's a good mutation. Cool. Which brings us uh, to the end of this episode. If you want to mutate uh, the like button, by the way, uh, infuse a few mutagens uh, with your mouse cursor and uh, mutate it to a thumbs up. Thanks and see you in two days.